Hi there, Greg's 3 Artist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how I created these renderings using Bifrost strands. So these kind of organic looking structures are actually formed of millions of strands. You can look closely, you can see them here. In combination with the curl noise field, you get these interesting patterns and structures, which can then obviously be animated like so. Okay, so I'm going to start off by opening up the Bifrost graph editor. Uh, just drag this down here, create a graph. So I've got to create some geometry from which we can grow our strands. Just create a, a torus and plug that into the output so we can see it. Let's make it a bit bigger, so like 40 radius and an 8 mine radius. Okay, just going to unplug that for now. So next we'll create a vector field scope to visualize the flow lines that will create help create the strands. Plug the torus mesh into the probe geometry and the vector field scope into the output. I need to give it a vector field, so I'm going to create a curl noise field, which will to give us those interesting patterns. If we plug it directly into the vector field, uh, I'll give it something like this. Go back to the vector field scope and make sure display flow lines are on and just increase the flow length, something like 10 should do. Now the noise is quite fine, so we want to scale that up. I'm going to use a scale field to do that. Put the noise field into the scale field and the scale field into the vector field of the vector field scope. And then increase the scale to something like 8. So we're getting these nice long almost tendrils coming off of the torus. So to the end of the strands in Arnold we'll set the profile and the strand settings. So set strands profile, put the vector field scope into the strands and then to set the Arnold strand settings so we can choose the mode that it renders with. So change the mode override and make sure that's set to thick. So we can render thick strands. So we've got the curl noise field going to the scale field, which we can scale up the effect. And the mesh torus number of segments, if we increase that, we'll get more strands. So I'll just use like 100 for now. And then set strand profile of the curve of the strands and then the Arnold strand settings which we've set to thick. Okay, so I'm going to assign new material to the strands so we can start rendering. So standard surface. I'm going to connect a file texture to the base color. And I've got a wooden texture here that I'm going to use for the color. And I'm just going to rotate the frame for the texture. 270 degrees. And then we'll need a, a light, so I'm going to create a sky dome light and connect a HDR to the color of the sky dome light. And we use the good old fashioned kitchen probe. And we're going to make sure the format is set to mirrorable for this particular HDR. Just decrease the samples for, to three. Final rendering. And we don't want it visible in the camera. So I'm going to put the camera to zero. And I don't want it visible in the viewport either, so I'm going to reduce the radius to zero as well. Okay, so let's start off the render in the viewport. May take a moment to calculate the strands, but there you go. And then if you go to the render settings environment and just create a race switch shader there. In the attribute editor change the camera to a lighter color. Zoom a bit. Okay, so we don't have enough strands at the moment, so let's add some more subdivisions to our input geometry, the torus. Can increase the major segments, so there's an extra zero on top of that. So now you start to see the shapes and formations appear as we increase the number of strands. And you can see the minor segments here, we don't have enough minor segments, you can see, you can see that the torus is formed of these, these minor segments. So I'm going to increase those as well, something like 100. And for the final renders, I was using something like 100,000 strands, but 
just for this example, I'm just going to create 10,000 strands because it will take a, a moment to calculate uh, strands. Okay, so here I've increased the number of major segments of the torus to 60,000 and the minor segments to 200. And just moved the camera in to highlight a particular section that I liked. Still not quite enough because we can still see some stray strands on the edges here. Okay, that's basically it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.